Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Max, the chief evangelist over here at Happily, AKA the Aflac duck of affiliate programs, AKA the Roger rabbit of referrals. And today we're talking about how you can use associate like my new hat. I do. We're talking about how you can use associate to support a referral or an affiliate program or some shade of something in between there inside of HubSpot using our app associate. Now, um, I kind of concocted this idea uh, in a in a fever dream um, or it was a shower thought or something. I don't know. But I've been trying to crack the code on creating like native affiliate programs inside of HubSpot for a while now, ever since back in my early days of being an implementation specialist. It's always something that's had a little bit of like weird nuance inside of HubSpot. I'm sure a bunch of other people have kind of figured it out before me. Um, but like I'd always kind of tried, you know, using a whole bunch of different things like uh, different properties and setting up forums in certain ways and creating like tasks and all this like, you know, weird stuff to basically create these like referral programs. And you know, HubSpot made a big leap when they gave the ability for workflows to create contacts. That was super interesting because then you could build forms that when someone filled it out, you could have other information in there about like, you know, someone's email address or first name of someone else they were referring, right? And then you could use that information to like create a new contact and, and things like that. But the thing that's always been like super tough is when things like deals, for example, get created inside of HubSpot and they're holding some information about, you know, who referred them, but it wasn't the person that was actually the referrer that was like filling out the form. It was some other person that they had given like a referral code to or an affiliate link to. It always got like a little weird, a little dicey, tying that deal back to someone who's actually listed as like an affiliate inside of your HubSpot portal. But recently I've been thinking a lot about Associate and how Associate you could help with something like that. And I've built out a pretty simple system that has some fundamentals in it that I think you can apply to a bunch of different scenarios that fall into like this idea of a referral or an affiliate program. So I'm going to show you what I built here and maybe you could take like bits and pieces of it. Uh, but the big kind of thing is at the end, we're kind of thinking, how do we actually tie this referral you're creating back to someone else? a contact specifically um, who is the person that's doing all of these referrals, right? So they can get proper credit for it. And you can track where, you know, your deals are coming from when they do come from folks that are affiliates, right? So let's get into it. So um, I built out a bunch of different workflows to kind of support this, a form, um, and then finally a workflow that uses our app associate to kind of tie everything together to make it all make sense. So first, um, in my scenario here, I have an affiliate program where I have affiliates that once they go through some kind of like onboarding and we kind of approve them as affiliates, I need to first like get them an affiliate code. Now, this is just like a pretty rudimentary way to kind of automate the way that you can do this, but I'll kind of show you what I have set up. So step one, when someone becomes an affiliate, how do we make sure they get an affiliate code? And how do I make sure they get an affiliate link that they can share with people to go get like a demo of my product or fill out a form or something like that, right? So I have this single checkbox here called is affiliate. And when I set this to yes, I need to kick off some sort of automation to make sure that I can get a referral code for this person, as well as a referral link that I can then either auto email them or just send to them and they can give to other people, right? So the way that I'm doing this is I built a workflow. And what this workflow is doing, it's a contact based workflow. And the first First step is that it's checking to see if there's a contact who has that affiliate uh, is affiliate property set to yes. If that's the case, they're going to automatically enroll in this workflow. And the first thing I'm doing is I have this contact property called affiliate code. And so I'm using a set property value action here and I'm setting this. I'm, I'm being so boring here. I'm literally just making it their first name and last name with no spaces. It's important that I'm doing it with no spaces because I'm going to put this code inside like a URL in the next step that's auto generated for them. Right. But like, think about it. You could kick this off a number of different ways. Like maybe you don't want to like auto generate this code. Maybe you work with them to like come up with like a cool code or something and you just manually type this code into this property. You could then kick this workflow off from that if you wanted to. Um, you could also use like a custom coded workflow action to like 
auto generate something or maybe like a format data workflow action if you have operations hub pro right like there's a number of different ways that you could create an affiliate code um this is not rocket science in my case i'm literally just using first name last name no space in between you can put an underscore you can do whatever you don't need me to ramble about this right you can do whatever you want to create a referral code right the whole point is that i wanted to auto generate then this affiliate link okay but it's important that your code is separate from your link right they have to be two different properties because we're going to use that code to match up records later on right so you want to make sure you have the code by itself and then you need to go ahead and just kind of shove that into a property here uh for a link that we're going to create now the way that I'm doing this is I have my website page that I want to send people to, right? In this case, I just have some like demo, uh, you know, page that's going to have a form on it, right? But on that form, there is going to be a hidden form field with the internal name of affiliate, right? Now, this is very important. I need to have that internal name set to affiliate because at the end of this link, I have a query parameter, the URL parameter, whatever. I've got a question mark and then I've got this value here and then it's going to equal whatever the affiliate code is, right? It's a query string or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this here. And what's going to happen is when someone goes through the workflow, it's going to generate their affiliate code. In this case, I'm just using first name, last name. And then it's going to take that and it's going to pipe that into a URL here and pop it into this affiliate link um, uh, property that I have. Now, if I go and look at this, the other thing that I've added is a conditional section here that's only going to show up when is affiliate is set to yes. Now, this is just something fancy you can do if you have an enterprise version of HubSpot. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just have an additional additional section down here or just have these just sit in your property somewhere. It's, it's This is just a nice to have. But here you can see the affiliate code that gets generated. And again, it's important that this is its own property. And then you have the affiliate link. Now, I could just go ahead and give this affiliate link to the person who the affiliate is and hopefully they'll go give it to other people they'll click that link and they will eventually land on this page which has the form on it now to illustrate how this works um i don't really think you can see from the screen share but um there is a query parameter in the url that that person would have visited and it's filling out this affiliate uh field here with the actual code now you can do this a couple of different ways right um maybe you don't give people affiliate links you just give them codes and on your forms you have a place where people can enter in a referral code for example right you could do that um in this case what i would probably recommend doing if you are going to give someone like a referral link it's kind of weird that they have this field exposed so you could just make this field hidden on the HubSpot form, which is a really easy thing to do. Even if the form field is hidden, it will still get populated by whatever the value is in that affiliate uh, query parameter that's in the URL, right? So the whole point is, is when someone goes and fills this form out, there's a contact property now called affiliate that is getting populated with this referral code that I created for my affiliate. So they give the link to someone else. They come and hit this page. They fill the form out. This affiliate thing gets magically filled in because of the URL or someone just typed it in. Either way, they're getting a referral code. So what's happening past here is we are going into another workflow here. Now, this is a workflow that's very simply just creating a deal when someone actually fills out the form on that page, right? Um, so essentially, I'm creating a deal when someone fills that form out. And the important thing that I'm doing here is that I am passing on the affiliate code, or I'm sorry, I'm passing on the, pro the, the value of the property for the contact called affiliate, which is what's getting filled in from that form. I'm passing that into an affiliate code property I have on the deal, all right? So the deal is gonna get created and there's gonna be an affiliate code property that includes the value of whatever it was on the contact that filled out that form, all right? Now, from there, I have another very simple workflow set up that's triggering when a deal is created and that affiliate code property is known. So the only time this is happening is when someone fills out one of those forms and a deal is created and the affiliate code is in there. That's the only time this workflow is gonna run. And in this case, what I'm doing is I'm having a single action here called associate. So this is the associate action inside of workflows. And what we're doing is we're saying, okay, look at the value of affiliate code on the deal that's going through the workflow and then look at all of our contacts 
and look at specifically their affiliate code property because remember affiliate code is also a property on contacts and in this case it's also a property on deals the names of these fields can change so if you want to call it referral code instead of affiliate code or just have referral or affiliate or just you know write the words in different ways that's fine don't worry about that right the whole point is that the values of these properties on these two different objects need to match right and when they match because it's the same affiliate code it's going to go ahead and create an association and on top of that i created a cr credited affiliate association label so what will happen is when you see the 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 referrer the affiliate when you see the affiliate associated to the deal the association label that they will have is credited affiliate but the deal will still be associated as the primary contact to the person who filled the form out right so what that ends up looking like is this right so we're looking at this deal that got created and again maybe you create a deal maybe you create a custom object um you know once same object associations come out maybe you're just doing it for contacts if there's ever, ever any other you know object hubspot ever creates that you know represent deals that aren't quite deals yet like maybe you'll see something like that you know whatever like you, you can put it on any object you want right but the whole idea over here i have this deal that was created for a certain amount and then over here i can see the contact that's associated to it but then i also see the contact that is the credited affiliate because the person who filled out the form that generated this deal used that referral code right whether it was through the link or they punched in manly whatever right we're able to say this this person is associated to this deal because they are the ones that provided the affiliate code. Now, if I go look at this contact, for example, which is one of my affiliates, it's great because then I can see all the different deals that they ended up creating or other objects, whatever, whatever way you use to memorialize this, right? I can then see all the different deals that they are associated to. And what's beautiful is that when the affiliate is associated to those deals, I could then run reports and say, hey, show me all my deals. Uh, that are associated to like specific, um, you know, contacts that are marked as affiliates, for example. And I can create leaderboards and all this wonderful data because the affiliate contact records are associated to the deals that are getting created because of their referral codes, because of their links, because of whatever marketing they're going out and doing. And it just makes everything easier, right? So, you know, while associate plays a small role in this, it's paramount in connecting the data up properly so you can do a number of different things right whether it's running the reports associated to those contacts for any deals that are created whether it's um sending an email to the credited uh refer the, the credited affiliate whenever a deal is created and they're associated to that deal right because you could build workflows that say okay send an email to any contacts with specific association labels right there's a lot that you can do um you know when you're actually creating these associations between the affiliate and the deals that are getting created using their affiliate codes their affiliate links their referral codes however you want to think about it and associate is the glue that ties it all together so the data makes sense in a way that works right cool so hey Hope that was helpful, right? Um, I would love to hear if you guys have set up programs like this in other ways. I know there are plenty of ways of doing it, but the big thing that was always a big barrier for me is ensuring that contacts and deals are getting associated properly, not just for the folks filling out the forms, but the folks that actually referred them and this is a really cool, easy way that you can do it using Associate, right? So leave a comment if this helps or if you have an alternative take on it. Let us know if you have any questions on building referral programs and how Associate or any of our other apps can help you in that regard. Um, and don't forget to like the video if this helped, uh, follow the channel on, on YouTube uh, and follow us on LinkedIn so you can hear all the news on all the new apps and things that we're gonna be releasing that's making HubSpot better in every way that you can imagine. Thanks guys. And you know it was built happily.